Hi everyone, my name is Ellie and I'm coming to you here from Morris & Co in the UK. We are so excited today to show you our new collection Leicester that we have collaborated with Free Spirit for. Um, the Leicester collection is inspired by the Morris & Co um, gardens um, that are featured in all the Morris homes here in the UK. If you ever get a chance to come visit, please do. They are so beautiful, they were Morris's main inspiration for many of his patterns. And the collection is called Leicester because the main feature of your court packs will be this amazing Leicester design. And this design was actually created by John Henry Dill, which was William Morris's apprentice. Um, but you can really see how the aspects of the acanthus leaves and some of the flowers were really influenced by Morris himself. So we'll take you through the colour stories and each design. So we've laid out the fabrics for you here and you can really see it's a really clean, fresh spring colour palette invited by the William Morris Gardens that were in his homes. And we really wanted to get that really vibrant essence of green and summer yellows with those rich pops of red that Morris is really known for. And we really think it's a really nice, warm, playful palette for haberdashery. And you've got the nice, white, clean grounds that is something a bit fresher that we've not done before with Free Spirit. Okay, so I'll just take you through some of the um, designs that you could be using for your haberdashery. We always have to include a strawberry thief, he is so iconic. He was designed in 1883 and was inspired by um, when Morris looked out his garden window and saw all the thrushes stealing his strawberries. It's a really different take on strawberry thief where it's a lot fresher than the original dark colours that we've used before and it just adds a really nice spring freshness to the collection. And then Another iconic one for us is Acanthus. And it's a slightly larger scale, but there's enough colour and detail to get through. And we just thought it was really playful and there's enough interest to be used in haberdashery. Even you can cut around the leaves and be quite playful with it as you use it. There's also in comparison, a nice smaller tone or strawberry um, Acanthus that you could use as a nice coordinate so it's less impactful but still really beautiful. And then another one you might recognise is Pimpernel. And this was inspired by one of our best selling wallpapers that always does really well. There's a lot on social media of this design at the moment and we just had to include it. It really looks like an English garden with the amount of leaves and tulips and flowers. And then more flowers come through with Honeysuckle which was designed by May Morris. And I love the pops of yellow in the flower heads here, adds a real richness to the design. You've got a little bit of relief coming through in the design called Meadow Sweet. Has a nice striped effect to it, it would be really interesting to see how you guys use it for haberdashery fabrics. And then we've got some designs that feature some fruits. So we've got a new design called Lemon Tree and a lovely rich green ground. So you've got a deeper ground to balance out all those ivory grounds. And then you've also got fruit, which is a smaller scale, is really beautiful. This is William Morris's, uh, well, first lot of wallpapers that he did. And this is it as a haberdashery fabric. And then we've got a new design that we've just launched in our Simply Morris collection. This one's called Seven. So it's a really nice damask. Again, the classic Morris acanthus leaves makes it really iconic. And this nice warm red color warms up the collection. Then to balance out all that pattern, we've got lovely two color design called Standing in a red and a gold to add a bit of relief. And then we've got Chrysanthemum Twelve a lovely soft sage green to balance out all the multicolour patterns and again it's quite recognisable. So I hope you have fun making things as much as we like creating it and we really hope you are excited about this new palette and it's been great working with Free Spirit again and yeah we can't wait to see what you make. Thank you very much.